Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great. And today I'm going to talk about my job. Mm. Everyone I used to bring a drink down here with me every day. Who, who was here back in those days? Um, <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I mentioned there were some changes happening in my, in my, you know, at my employer. And I had to be careful about the way I talked about it. And I still do. Um, but apparently I wasn't careful enough because that next day I got an email from one of our clients who I was not aware, knew that I existed. I mean, I knew that they knew me personally, but I didn't know that they knew this channel existed. It's, they had seen the video and uh, were concerned. Like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? I said, listen, this doesn't impact you at all. The, you know, whatever. Uh, but while I was on the cruise, um, administration sent out emails to our clients telling them that several of our products will be shut down uh, at the end of this year. So lots of our current client-based solutions are, are ending. The big enterprise software that I took over a couple of years ago, that's staying indefinitely. Um, and we're going to keep maintaining that. And hopefully this means, hopefully, <laughs> getting rid of the other stuff will mean that me and my coworker can really focus on making it better because right now it needs a lot of help. Uh, there's a lot of, of weirdness and I think that together we can mold it into something. We're going to try. I hope. We'll see. I don't know. I honestly don't know what the plans are for, for the organization. I'm not privy to that knowledge. I'm just told what's going to happen. But I have opportunity again. Uh, some of you might remember four years ago, I had the same opportunity. When um, when I worked at my previous employer, my previous employer was a state agency that was shut down by legislation. I developed a piece of software for K-12 schools to track teachers' uh, professional development hours. And um, it was built for a, a particular school district who, who asked for assistance. And I said, yeah, we can make that. And the intention was we could make it for them and then figure out a way to, you know, branch out and find other clients for that software. When I left my agency, um, I purchased the rights to the software. Uh, I, I owned it wholly um, and I formed an LLC at that time. But uh, I moved to West Virginia Network where I work currently. And uh, that software has been owned by them now uh for four years they purchased it from me and so i never never did anything with that llc that i formed uh in fact i shut it down shut the bank accounts down all that stuff because i never did anything with it <clears throat> well now this is happening and the agency has decided to return my software to me i will now own it wholly um Nobody else has worked on it in the last four years. It's been solely my project. So I'm not, uh, I, I think that's part of the reason why they're giving it to me. Like it's not really, uh, it's not, it hasn't really been a project that the, the agency as a, as a group has worked on. So I will fully own the software again. And I spoke with uh, the client, uh, the current, the current user, uh, users of the software, and they don't want to stop using it. They like it a lot. And they've looked at other solutions and don't like what the other solutions have to offer. They really like my solution. My solution is very simple, static PHP pages, a little bit of JavaScript just for, you know, table sorting and that sort of stuff. But it's a very, very basic static PHP generated thing. Uh, no, no, uh, it does not build on any frameworks. It's it's um, my own sort of page loading um, type stuff. So it's it's pretty easy for me to work on. It's pretty easy for me to modify because I don't have to to jump through a, you know a bunch of hoops. It's just they want this. I go add that real quick. Super simple. It works really well. It's a very clean piece of software. The users like it. The administrators like it. It's very easy for everybody to navigate to generate the reports they want. You know, it works well, and uh, I will own it uh, next year, which means 
it, I have the opportunity again to set up another company to maintain and run and develop this software, which also means that I have the opportunity to try to reach out and sell it. Uh, I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> My administration has has helped me navigate what is and what isn't okay uh, as far as conflict of interest and as far as me being a public employee, that sort of stuff. Uh, this is allowed. It is, it is perfectly fine for me to do this as long as it's strictly my own equipment, my own time, my own everything, right? Like I'm not allowed to use my, my employer or my, the prestige of my employer to, to help me with this adventure. It has to be solely my own thing. And uh, <clears throat> that's fine. I have plenty of time off if I need to, you know, if I have the opportunity to travel and try to sell the software to speak to clients, I can take time off to do that. Not a big deal. So I'm excited about the idea. Uh, I'm a little bit fuzzy on how it's going to work into my life. But it is, you know, if, if, it, if, if nothing else, I take the software that's currently out there, I move it to a new host, I set up the new host, I make X thousands of dollars each year, and it just does its thing. I would say in the last year, I've worked on it maybe 10 hours. It, it really just kind of takes care of itself. And part of that reason is it's such a simple PHP-based static kind of form submission form you know, you know, it just forms. It's just, it's just a basic input and output, stick it in the database and make reports. It doesn't need to be much more than that. And because of that, I'm not relying on this huge technology stack that I have to constantly monitor and update and, and fix, you know, bugs that arise when things update. And I don't have to do any of that stuff. It just kind of works. It, you know, I'm not doing anything edgy. Edgy requires a lot of maintenance. This just kind of works. So I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I, I, I really enjoy working with the client uh, that is currently uh, using the software, and I don't want to stop working with them. Uh, she mentioned when I spoke to her over the phone that they have other projects that they would like to see happen and that that business might be available to me if I set this, you know, if I set this company up and I do this, then I could possibly have uh, more, which uh, kind of gives me an incentive to get the business set up faster because that might be something I could turn around pretty quickly um, since, since my current employer is not really taking that kind of work anymore. So we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> I think that the opportunity is there. The opportunity to make a pretty significant side income is there. Uh, and the opportunity to find new clients and, and help, ultimately help K-12 even more, which was, has been my passion since my previous employer, uh, I think I have to do it. Now the problem, now the, 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 the thing is timeline, right? I got to get it done so that it can happen. And when is that going to happen? I don't know. We'll find out. Do I even need to set up a new LLC? Does anybody know about this sort of stuff? My current LLC, the LLC that owns this channel, the LLC that owns my other artistic work, uh, is registered as an independent artist and entertainer. And I don't know that doing what I'm doing with software development counts as that. I think I need to set up a whole different LLC with a whole different tax bracket, tax info, all that sort of stuff. I'm not positive, though. Let me know if you know anything about that or if you want to talk about it or if you want to help me in the comments or, you know, reach out to me privately. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends, wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should notice how smart is livid. It is an adjective meaning enraged or extremely angry. Jennifer was livid when we suggested that her new outfit was three weeks out of date. Livid, L-I-V-I-D. Don't you hate it when your new outfit is three weeks out of date? That is so last season. Uh, also, isn't enraged or extremely angry the same thing? Like, 